Welcome back to the channel where I create content that helps educators gain financial independence by better leveraging their skills. But before we get started, be sure to grab your copy of Teach Abroad Middle East, where you get access to high paying job boards, Middle East fun facts, resources to start and grow your teaching business, passive income, and more. Today, I'd like to talk to you about teaching abroad. Working abroad is an overwhelming prospect, packing up your entire life, moving not just states but oceans away from loved ones can in fact be overwhelming. Then again, for many, this exact scenario sounds like a dream. So where are English speaking teachers in high demand? Today we'll be talking about Oman. This country sits on the southeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula, flanked by Yemen, the UAE, and Saudi Arabia. Oman is home to about 4.6 million people, and more than three quarters of Oman's population follow Islam. English is the official business language of Oman, so the demand for language education will continue to rise. The capital, Muscat, is home to the elaborately decorated Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque. But you can also find a leisurely stroll along the Arabian Sea Wall. A lot of arid sand dunes, rocky mountains, and humid oceanfront landscape, there's something for everyone to appreciate and explore when living in Oman. And if you're a history lover, historic forts, Timeless villages and former capital cities offer plenty of places to explore. There are four main areas where teaching is needed in Oman. Number one, Muscat. The capital of Oman, there are many outdoor activities for adventurers and fitness enthusiasts. Number two, Seeb. Northwest of Muscat, Seeb is a coastal fishing city. You'll find superb local cuisine and spend hours exploring the local markets. Number three, Sohar. Even further north than Seeb, Sohar is a historic lover's paradise. Old forts, museums, and historic trading posts make Sohar stand out. Number four, Salala. This city is the capital of Dofar province. It's at the southern end of Oman. It offers plenty of beaches and local sea life, such as turtles and sprawling banana plantations. Okay, so Oman is an excellent place to visit, maybe for an extended trip. But what is it like to teach there? Teaching needs are increasing in Oman as the country continues to grow. Jobs can be found at the kindergarten, elementary, and secondary levels and are available at both private international and language schools. English is typically taught to students starting in the fourth grade when attending public schools and often earlier in private settings. Contracts for teaching positions are longer than in some countries with an expected commitment of two years. Two years doesn't seem too bad when students are generally eager to learn and respectful towards teachers. Average salaries for teachers will vary widely based on experience, the position, and its requirements. They will broadly fall into the range of 1,000 to 4,000 US dollars. Positions at public training centers are generally lower paying jobs, but more readily available. These center are attended by both children and adults during nights and weekends. One perk is that they are streamlined. Each center has its own curriculum, so most of the planning is already done for each class. Elementary schools, international schools, and universities make up the remainder of the positions, and you can expect to bring home at least $2,000 US dollars each month. Contracts demand between 20 to 25 hours of teaching each week, Income is also tax-free, which means you can use all of your income to cover expenses and hopefully keep up a healthy amount as discretionary income. 
Vacations will vary with each educational institution. Since training centers operate year round, there are no established vacation or shutdown periods, but preschools, international schools, and universities reliably offer six to 12 weeks of vacation each school year. Many contracts are also supplemented with additional benefits. These perks may include annual round trip airfare to visit home or a modestly furnished apartment, health insurance, and a guaranteed vacation on certain holidays may also be included. It's always essential to understand the perks that each teaching contract offers so you can thoroughly weigh the pros and cons of each. Perks can massively offset your cost of living, which is already much lower than many other locations globally. A one-bedroom apartment provided by a teaching contract represents another $500 US of monthly income. You might also be asking yourself what sorts of social or cultural restrictions might be in place for foreigners living in Oman. The good news is that there are fewer limitations than you think. Women, for example, are not required to wear hair or face coverings. Men and women both need to dress respectfully, meaning that knees and shoulders are covered. Otherwise, style is up to each individual. Alcohol is not illegal in Oman, but it is rarely consumed. Drinking alcohol is frowned upon and people need to have special permits to drink. Non-Muslim residents can secure a license from the Royal Oman Police that allows alcohol consumption. But even this permit only allows at-home consumption. Public consumption of alcohol is expressly prohibited, so check your heavy drinking plans at the door. Tourists and visitors can purchase alcohol at specific licensed venues like hotels, clubs, and restaurants. But it's not all bad news. In 2020, a survey ranked Oman ninth in the world for safety and security, making it a great place for those looking to relocate. Omani people are generally friendly and welcoming, giving an overall feeling of safety when meandering through the sandy streets or approaching locals asking for help or directions. So, what do you need to bring to the table to secure an employment contract in Oman? The good news is that you don't necessarily need a degree in education to be considered. Here's what will be required of you. Native English speaker, two or more years of teaching experience in K to 12, a bachelor's degree from an accredited university. Some may require a specific teaching license. Some private schools will require applicants to hold a TEFL or TESOL certificate, which is commonly used to help teach students who are second language learners. One of the tasks to become qualified to teach in Oman involves having your teaching documents legalized by the Omani Embassy. This can be a complicated process, so it's best to research this sooner rather than later if you want to make this move. And while teaching licenses aren't required for all positions I've highlighted today, it goes without saying that more experience typically leads to more job availability. Advanced degrees generally result in higher wages or open up job options like department heads or other leadership roles. Taking a year or two to broaden your horizons will also ensure your resume or application stands out on future job hunts. It's a gift you can give yourself that also pays dividends long after your initial contract has been completed. That wraps up today's video. What's your favorite thing about visiting or living in Oman? Did I miss something? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please tap the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content geared towards educators. Ring the bell and subscribe if you want to ensure you never miss a video upload. Until next time.